Okay, good day guys. Today we shall be designing and analyzing a math foundation on Start Pro. And to save time, I'm going to open a previous project that I've opened. So this project I'm going to open it. Okay. The next thing I do is run my analysis again. Run my analysis. Okay. So all is working. So so zero error zero one in our one note so i can go to the post processing to see my reaction okay so yeah, it's at the reaction select text cursor to move it okay it's at the reaction you can come here maybe the combination to see it okay next thing since it's the foundation i'm interested in designing i'll go to the foundation design this tab here yeah, click it okay and you unpin this place, minimize the ribbon. Okay, so I'm only I will only select the um, live load and the dead load. I will leave the combination because I can create combination on my start pro and um, foundation start foundation. So I like it. Then include so start foundation advanced. Click it. So it's open a page for us. Okay, this is a page start foundation advanced connect edition. Okay, so we wait for it while it loads. Now, there's something I also want us to notice. Let's go back to our analytical modeling mode. Let me pin this place back. Okay, pin it back. Uh, let's go to the top view. Top view. So, I want us to get the dimension of this our building from here to here 12 meters sorry and 12 meters okay because it will be essential in our design and let's see where the foundation is the position on y so let's go back to view okay no structure escape select node cursor no cursor and from here to here so on y it's a, it's a zero then our column What's the property of the column? Column is 230 by 230 mm. Okay, so let's get that. So, next to go is our start foundation. So, this is, um, sorry, so we are back here. So, let's go to the top view, view from the top. This is what we see. So we go to our load and factor, open it, it generates loading combination. So according to the British, British, so this is for service load, generate. Then for the ultimate load, we also generate. Okay. Then we close it, come to job setup, create a new job setup, a new job. Give it any name you want, math, maybe math 14. Sorry. So job type, I mean, sorry. So job type, math, design code, British. Then unit type, SI. Okay, so assign to all supports. And that's all. Then all you are interested now, bring in all your load combinations, everything. Then create job. So by the left hand side, you see the math foundation job so you click it now you have this so let's go to the mesh generation you open your mesh generation you see add mesh region open it now our building is rectangular so we use add rectangular region if it was a circular building use circular um, re region if it was a polygon let's say a regular or uh, maybe five or different a special shape you use polygon or use polyline so by using the rec the rectangular region so you click rectangular region now you come in so from our length of the building we calculated at this point we have 12 meters so we'll come back in length 12 meters then our width is also 12 meters our y level was zero so you add region now we can see that it picks our um region from center line to center line of the colon but we also want to extend the slab to the edge of the colon so what we do is come back here 
what's the um my column at the x axis so this is 230 230 divided by 2 is 115 so that is minus point 115 and also at the z corner minus point 115 then my length is point two three point two three okay so add region so this one will delete it the internal one will delete that yes okay so after the meshing region you go to meshing setup so you create the name maybe mesh you add it sorry and you add okay so under this scroll down sorry scroll down then generate mesh you can edit the maximum um, mesh to be generated so you got leave it as default so generate mesh the quadrilateral meshing so okay so we already meshed our slab okay the next thing we do is analysis and property so we open it we have the slab thickness soil property and pile spring so let's go to slab thickness you can leave it as default maybe 300 mm thickness cool there's analysis thickness and design thickness analysis thickness is just to check it to analyze then the design thickness is what we are going to use to design whether it will be enough for the reinforcement or not so we we'll leave it as default we we'll go to the soil property we have density i want to use my density as 18 18 then my soil um soil spring for my subgrade i'll take it okay then come here so i don't know my subgrade module loss because you have to calculate it so i can calculate it um, from here click this place okay so my library bearing capacity is 75 let me assume a very bad soil factor of safety let me leave it as three Allowable settlement maybe 25 or let's say 20. Okay, so this is the formula. Then you assign. Then also before you click this, calculate, make sure you tick this, make sure you click this place. Make sure your um cursor is on this place. Then you assign. Okay, so it has calculated my subgrade modulus for me. Okay, so then you come here, math analysis and design option. You open it, analyze, click it, yes. Okay. so it's taking time for it to load we'll get our results soon okay this is the analysis this is okay so next thing we'll go to is moment envelope generation so you can see okay you can see our mod uh, from the output view. You can see many things. You can choose the type of stress to see. Maybe maximum absolute asymmetric view. Uh, so this is it. Okay. So you can see all this. Okay. So let's go to the moment envelope generation. So you come to your moment envelope generation. So how do you longitudinal axis set up? Let's choose along the global x axis. Okay. So you can divide it in this. Then generate moment envelope. If you click this generate moment envelope, you see some red dots. So let's see. So it's like red dots. Okay. So let's go to slab designer. My FY strength of steel, let me use 410. FC, let me use 30. Then top cover, maybe 50, 50. Pedestal cover. If there was a pedestal, I can leave it there. So minimum rebar size. I want to use twelve. Maximum maybe twenty-five. Okay, spacing maybe maximum spacing be four hundred. Because the BS code provided that maximum spacing should not be more than seven fifty or three times the effective depth. So let me just leave it as four hundred minimum maybe a yeah, hundred. Okay, so I can consider wood and armor. Yes, and design processed. Okay. So reinforcement zoning, you can create zones. So these are the zones needed. This is for these ones. Then moment capacity check. You check it to see 
press it capacity diagram it's okay everything is good and um, everything is okay so this is the um, failure diagram now so if i increase or reduce my spacing you will see that the red parts will reduce so let me try 200 okay so let me try 16 have you seen it's reducing so maybe Y16 at 125. Okay. So let me use 120. Let me use 20. Okay, 20. Economic at 200. Let me see it work. Okay, 200 is okay. Let me see 250. Okay, so we can see this section. We can see this reinforcement size in, is enough for it. Okay, so after that, you can print out your calculation sheet. Okay, this one still has some, sorry. Um, it still has some, so I'll change it to Y20 at 200 center to center. So, this is it. Okay. So you can bring out your, there's no detail, um, detail and schedule drawing. So, Taking time. Okay, so no detail and schedule drawing presented for this job. So you can see your GA drawing. Then this is the calculation sheet. You can print it out. Okay. So thank you for watching today's video. Please make sure you subscribe. And if you have any comments or if you have any problem, you can drop it in the comment section. Thank you very much.